as we take a few moments to um, to just realize where we are. I was going to say arrive or land. I mean, we have arrived. Um, we are landed. We just got to realize it. And that happens the more collected you get. So wake all the way up. If you've started the rest of your day already, come on back. Imagination is a great tool, but let's see if we can get as here now as possible. There. And of course, we're listening. Once we're here, once it's now, we, we tune in, get connected, we listen, we look. Maybe we're already breathing a little bit deeper. And maybe we could think about how we are, how we have created and how we are feeding a momentum. If you never wake up early in the morning to practice, it's difficult. When you start waking up in the morning for practice, it becomes easier and easier and easier. I hear the same thing is true about cold showers. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. It gets easier, right? No hot showers, I know I'm like, right? But you create a momentum, it becomes easier and easier and easier. It becomes more accessible, more accessible, more accessible. And at first we're, we're really throttling in, like really feeding it and maybe going against some things and there's some friction. We all, always wanna, we wanna keep that throttle in for life. We wanna be able to ease off a little bit and eventually allow the momentum to do some of the heavy lifting. So let's see where you are. Right? Y'all y'all practice a lot. I see you a lot. And I know it, it bleeds out into your um, or, or waves out into the rest of your life too. So we just tap into that momentum. Let it take us deep, let it get us high. Feed it when you need to. When there's resistance. Otherwise, it's fine. Maybe a bit of ease through it all. Good time to bring the palms together, thumbs center the chest. We set intention. We come back to maybe an overarching intention, big or little. Just remember, pull that thread in. It might just be to, to feed the momentum. It might be to just ride. Momentum you've created already. Do this so that we have purpose. And as always, feel free to say your prayers. Mine is that we all get exactly what we need, which might not be what we want, but what will heal us, reveal us. You can stay just like this as long as you like. When you're ready, release a hand. And how about Five deep Ujjayi breaths here. Okay. 
body. And we've been doing this breath, practicing this breath for years. And so it becomes easier and easier to drop into. And within that momentum, we can refine still. We don't have to be complacent. A couple more breaths here. Maybe inhaling more than you thought you could. Maybe without strain or stress, but a little bit of effort. Maybe you could stay full, float a little bit longer. And the same with the exhale, exhaling a little bit more than you thought you could. To be empty for an extra count or two. And one more breath in. And it might be enough to just sit here and breathe. Otherwise, when we're ready, we're going to continue standing. So if you need to wake the legs up, do just that. Otherwise, it's to our feet. Right? We get tucked, tied back. Maybe a little bounce, a little shake, a little roll. A little itch. Yeah, take your time. Join me when you're ready. In Tadasana. Now to impose. If you can be a part, of course I can. I usually bring mine together. It's the way I was taught. It also challenges balance and starts to lengthen the side body right away. Wherever the feet are, the toes spread, find your heels. Grip your legs for a moment, maybe let them go and do it again. Right? I want to find balance up through the torso, so spine. Hold long, ribs over hips, lift the back body and then the chest, shoulders hang broad, in, in and down, hands lay inside the legs, exhale completely. Just the arms at first, as you inhale, stretch them to the side and up, lifting kneecaps, ribs, but not head, lace and press through the palms, stretch, wait for your exhale, release your arms. Do that again a couple times. Wait for your breath. Lift your arms. Inhale. Lift the shoulders, the back of the head, lace and press, stretch the arms, wait for the exhale, and then release them. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, stretch the arms out and up. Wait for the exhale and release the arm. And all right, we'll go right into our shoulder medicine, the arm circle. Inhale, stretch the arms out and up. Stretch to the top. As you exhale, soften the knees, it'll arch the spine, drop the hands back and sweep the arms forward. Stretch them. Let them pull you upright, legs strong, head down. Wait for your inhale, sweep your arms back to the side and up. Lift, lace, and press. And as you exhale, drop the arms forward, palms down, shoulder height, sweep open. Little bounce here, maybe even lean forward into it. Take the arms back. Inhale, return the arms forward, lift them up, lace, and press. And as you exhale, drop the arms. And we'll do that twice more. Strong legs, press down, lift up. As you exhale, soften, arch, sweep. Everything's strong, empty. Wait for your inhale, arms back to the side and up. Be here at full, press down, press up, feel it. And if you exhale, release the arms forward, shoulder height, sweep open, 
Stretch the shoulders and the chest. There you go. Inhale, come on back. Lift up. Stretch here. Exhale, release the arms. You can keep the ribs lifted. The legs strong. You can soften any of it anytime. Do that one more time. Inhale, arms out and up. Long breath, slow, controlled movement. Exhale, soften, arch, sweep. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward and out. Wait for your inhale. Arms forward, arms up. And if you exhale, release the arms. And exhale a little bit more. We'll add the side stretch into the fold, yeah. Exhale completely here, go all the way to empty. Inhale again, stretch your arms out and up. Lace and press. As you exhale, tip to the right. Inhale, return. Exhale to the left. Inhale, come on back, press down, press up. And as you exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to touch the floor. Drop the head, empty the lungs. Inhale, lift halfway length and stretch the legs, lengthen the spine. Have a little look forward, the hands might float. Exhale, fold again. Now this might be interesting. Lace the fingers, turn the palms out. As you inhale, strong legs, long spine, tip all the way back up. And as you exhale, tip over to the right. Inhale, return. Exhale, left. Inhale, pull yourself back up. Lift, lift, lift. And as you exhale, release and dive forward. Touch down, head down, lungs empty. Wait for your inhale and stretch the legs, the spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold again, go to empty. And if that served you, again, lace the fingers, turn the palms out. Start by lifting the arms, legs strong, spine long, tip all the way back up. One more time as you exhale, tip right. Inhale, return. Exhale, tip left. Inhale, come on back, press down, press up. And again, dive forward full. Now this inhales to prepare to bend the knees as much as you need, palms flat, look forward, step back. And let's be strong here for a breath or two, pushing the floor away, drawing the front ribs in, strengthen the legs, inhale, lengthen. You could lower halfway or maybe all the way as you exhale. Find the back bend here, inhale, lengthen, lift the front body. You can linger, you don't have to rush, even if it's up dog. Eventually an exhale to send you back, toes under, hips up, head down, down dog. There you go. First down dog of a few. So if you need to check the hands out with real focused attention, getting longer through the spine, like think about the waist, the hips further from the wrist. And maybe it's walking the legs out, bend one, straighten the other. You go back and forth a couple of times, 
might be worth lingering again, one side and then the other. And then we'll come back to center eventually. Exhale completely. We'll take one more breath here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ground. And then we'll empty, soften. Look forward as you inhale, step or hop. Top of the mat, lengthen. As you exhale, fold. Your inhale, you rise. Reach out, reach out. This time, maybe look up, lift the chest, the chin, the gaze, palms might touch. And as you exhale, drop the arms, but not the ribs, not the legs. Go all the way to empty. A couple more times, some salutations. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Inhale, palms flat, look forward, step back. And as you exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Wherever you go, wait for the inhale. Lengthen, lift the front body. Be there, fill up more. And as you exhale, over the toes, push the front of that away, lift the hips, drop the head down, dog. One breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ground. Not empty, soften, look forward and travel as you inhale. Step, walk, or hop. Lengthen as you arrive. As you exhale, fold. And as you inhale, rise. Exhale, stand tall. One more time, just like that. You make it your own. Inhale and go. Inhale, prepare, step or hop and lower. Your inhale, lengthen and lift. Your exhale, downward facing dog, all the way back. One breath. All the way empty. And inhale to travel. Step or hop, top of the mat, lengthen. And fold. And rise in. Exhale, stand tall. And take a few moments here. When you're ready. We're gonna step open wide, nice big step. Right. And I trust y'all, y'all know this. Left toes in, right toes out, nice wide stance, right? As we lunge into the right leg, we're working to keep the right hip lifted and the left seat wrapped under. Right. And you can always get longer. Right. If you wanna test the depth a little bit, there you go, spine upright, ribs over hips. We add the arms to shoulder height. Right, as you pull that those left rib back a little bit, lift the rib cage up, stretch the arms out, exhale, sink a little bit deeper. And as you inhale, straighten the leg, release the arms, switch the feet. Just a little check first time, right? We're gonna lunge into the left leg, keeping the left hip lifted, the right seat wrapped in, spine upright, maybe longer, there you go. Ribs lifted, arms lift too, stretch them. Exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go back and forth. Inhale, straighten left, reach the arms up, switch the feet. Exhale, lunge right. 
arms, shoulder height, all the way empty. And again, inhale up, straighten the leg, lift the arms, switch the feet. Exhale, deep into that left leg, keep the left hip lifted, all the way to empty. And a few more times, inhale, straighten, reach and switch. Wait for the exhale to lunge. We're not staying, it's gonna be lunge a little bit deeper. And then fly, inhale, straighten and reach. Switching, and exhaling to lunge again, other side. There you go. Back over to the right leg. And this time we stay, three breaths here. Left leg strong. Arms stretching. Jaw soft, one more breath. Exhale. Wait for the inhale. You can drop the arms this time as you switch the feet. Exhale, lunge left. And inhale, lift the arms, shoulder height. Exhale, three breaths here. Right leg strong. Two more. One more breath. And inhale, straighten the leg, drop the arms, turn the left toes in, maybe give the shoulders a roll, hands to hips, and heels out slightly, legs strong, hips forward, use an inhale to lift, and I don't know, a couple breaths, maybe one breath, more if you like, and a bit of a back bend here, All right, maybe we can take the head back. And then when you're ready, lift back up and exhale to tip forward into this fold, right? And you can have the hands to the floor if the fingers are laced behind you. You find the fold first and the balance and then reach the arms long before they go overhead. If you want to stay in a half fold and really work the legs and the waist, do that. Once you have those things, then you can tip the pelvis forward and find your fold. And about five breaths here. So use them, right? The inhale is always creating length and space and lift. And the exhale to spiral inwards and squeeze and fold. Three more breaths by my count. If you've gone your own way, you join us when you're ready. One more breath here. Inhale eventually to lift halfway length. We're gonna exhale and bring our hands to our knee hips. You might need to soften your knees a little. Inhale, we're gonna come all the way back. Then from here, heel, toe, step, or hop the feet together, release the hands and land.
And then once you're all collected and connected again, we'll step top of the mat. Exhale completely here. When you're ready with an inhale, reach out, reach up. And as you exhale, tip forward, fold. Inhale, palms flat. You could go straight to down dog or step back and lower as you exhale. We'll meet you in down dog. Lengthen, lift, keep riding the breath. Exhale, let's find our friends, press back. Empty. And then on empty, we're gonna look forward and bring the knees down, one knee and then the other towards the top of the mat. If you need to cushion the knees, do that. And we're gonna stand up on them. And tuck the toes under behind them. There you go. Hands to hips, palms flat to seat, fingers down, even fingers up, right? Might be a nice stretch for the wrists. Plug the tail down, lift the navel up, inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders. And as you exhale, keep pushing the hips forward, plugging the tail down, lifting the navel up as you lean back. You might not go far. That's cool, right? Find your edge, you explore, breathe. Right? You might want to play with taking the head back, especially if you are lifted. And right? if you can really feel that plug down the tail, and the lift of the ribs and the chest and the roll of the shoulders, there's lots of support for the head to go back. Be careful. It's too much. Lift the head up. And if the heels are available, you can take one and then the other hand down. Catch the heels. Keep breathing. How about three more breaths? One more. Then you can stay longer. When you're ready, hands back to the hips, head naturally up through center as you inhale upright. Now feel all that work, let it get complete, knees together, feet together, sit back on your heels. Maybe you can stay upright. And if something, if you did something, you need to undo it or you can move, of course you can, or counter, but maybe you can just feel. All right. From here, plant the hands again, lift the hips, step the feet back to a down dog just for a couple moments. Yeah. Stretching, lengthening, little shifts if you need them. All right. From down dog, we'll look forward. You can hop or maybe you step into a squat, one foot then the other, heels in, toes out, squat down. And if you're working on that squat, then do it. The hand can stay down for support. If you feel grounded and supported, then maybe it's palms together, thumb center of the chest, push the knees apart. You could also play with that arm balance, Bacassana or Crow. Otherwise, a few breaths in the squat.
No rush. When you're ready, seat down to the floor. You might need the hands behind you. Once they land, we'll bring the knees and the feet together. And we're going to go back, and you could just roll back, but you could also find that sweet spot, lift the feet, catch the back of the legs. Find the Vasana or boat pose. For, I don't know. However long you like. Okay. Lift it long, any version. I've got a couple more breaths. Shaking is good. One more breath. And then from high, lengthen lower. Maybe hover here. Me, I'm going to. Play it cool and just lower down slowly. You can drop, you could stay as my head lands. I'm gonna bend my knees and bring them towards my chest. And give myself a squeeze. You could do the same. All right. And then we're gonna bring our feet down to the floor. And these last sort of four or five minutes of asana. If there's something you need to do, then you go that direction. I'm going to talk about a twist and then maybe getting your legs up in the air. We're going to shift our hips over to the left a few inches, lift the knees up towards the chest, open the arms to a T, and roll the right knees towards the right armpit. We're coming around the right hip, legs to the right. And then, whatever encouragement or organization they need, if you need to encourage the top leg with the right hand or squeeze a block between the knees, you know, wrap the legs up, right? Working that left shoulder towards the floor. Letting the head go way back. Releasing the jaw. And gaze soft and focus even more on the breathing once you're organized. And I'd say at least three or four more breaths here. Noticing the releasing the shifting, you can encourage that too. Maybe another breath aside. When you're ready. And inhale to bring the head and the knees back to center, feet down and shift the hips back. And you can spend as many moments at center as you need. When you're ready, shift the hips over to the right, lift the knees back up towards the chest, open the arms to a T and take the legs over to the left. There. Encourage them, wrap them up. Right. Whatever organization they need, right shoulder doesn't have to be down, but it's moving in that direction. Use the breath, right? Three or four more here. Another breath or two, using each. Maybe one more. And 
And when you're ready, you inhale to bring everything back to center. Let me pause here for a moment. What do you need? You can slide right into Shavasana. You keep going if you got time, more back bending, more hip openers, more forward folds. You can fold forward now. Maybe you want to get the legs up in the air. It could just be the legs supported by a block or hand under the hips. It could be shoulder stand, head stand also. It'll take at least a couple minutes. What you're doing is asymmetrical. Make sure you do the other side. If it needs a counter pose, then do that. Shoulder stand, maybe even plow into fish or matsyasana. Headstand to child's pose. When you're ready, I highly recommend the Shavasana corpse pose. You extend both legs and the arms out and work to let it all go. You're also welcome to maybe sit up and do your breath practice, pranayama practice. Once you do find your back, find an organization that allows you to really drop the limbs, let the arms and the legs fall off the body. Hips and shoulders heavy. Release the spine from the bottom up to the top. Upper back releases. Head goes way back. Release the jaw. And let go of even the breath. Relax here. And let momentum take you.
And if you have space in your morning, you can stay longer and do so when you're ready. Come on back, back to breath, back to movement. Stretch and squeeze maybe. As you rock up, maybe roll to the side first. And find a seat for a few moments. appreciate the effects of our effort. Momentum fed. Maybe we want to maybe we want to commit to letting it carry us out into our day. Pulling all the threads through. Until it's time to feed it again. The day comes when it just uh, takes care of itself. And we're free. Closing prayers of gratitude this for you. So until next time, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Nice to see you.